Hey guys, how's it going? It's Josh here with Take em TV. Um, first of all, before we get into this video, I want to say thank you for 800 subscribers. I mean, that's just such a monumental number in my head. I'm so close to hitting my, my goal of 1,000 subscribers before January of 2024. Uh, so if you guys are seeing this video right now, please go down below, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to bring you guys, you know, a variety of different content, whether it's hunting, fishing, ice fishing. I'm thinking about maybe doing some camping in there. Um, but overall, it's just uh, whatever I enjoy to do. And today, we're going to be talking about ice fishing. So uh, growing up, I never really had the opportunity to go ice fishing. Uh, it just wasn't something that my you know my family did. But within the last couple years, my friends uh, up here have really gotten me into ice fishing. And uh, for Black Friday, I was able to pick up this Garmin 73 CB uh, ice fishing bundle on Amazon for quite a steal. So these units retail for right around $800, I believe. And uh, I was able to pick this one up for just above 500 bucks, and it's all brand new. It's in the box, and uh, I'm super excited about it. I'm super excited to use it uh, and kind of see what the stock transducer that comes with this unit can do. Um, one of the main reasons I went ahead and bought a Garmin uh, unit, this unit specifically, um, if I want to upgrade to Pan Optics, it's just a transducer switch for me. I don't need any black box. I don't need any other special equipment. This unit is capable of running pan optics. Um, and in the future, if I wanted to go ahead and uh, upgrade to live scope, um, I could do that as well. It would just be, you know, um, quite a bit more money invested into it. But the uh, the big ticket winner is the uh, Garmin, you know, unit itself. So. This unit's pretty cool. It comes with over 18,000 lakes already mapped using Navionics. Um, that was another big seller point for me right here. Growing up here, or not growing up here, um, I don't know the lakes too well. I'm a little terrified of some of the big water that's around me because I know there's a ton of trees in there. And uh, during the summertime, I can go ahead, I can pull this unit out of here um, and put it on my boat. So, once again, that's just another transducer switch, but you can buy the uh, GT40s and GT54 uh, transducers relatively cheap online, uh, especially used. So, But overall, I'm super excited to unbox this. I'm super excited to start to use this. Um, hopefully it starts getting a little colder here. It's been like mid-40s and we're halfway through December. Because uh, I'd love to get out on the ice, catch some walleyes, catch some crappies, and some perch. So, with that being said, let's get right into this unboxing and uh, see what Garmin has to offer right here. Alright, so we have quite a big box right here. I mean, overall, it's a pretty intense sized box. Um, but I've got right on the inside of the, the lid right here, you have your Garmin serial number for the unit itself that you're buying. You're not gonna wanna lose this. Um, if you have problems or uh, you need to send it in for warranty, you need to know what this serial number is. So make sure you either keep the box or you keep this serial number somewhere safe so that way you guys can do warranty stuff if Garmin needs to fix the, the unit uh, and so on and so forth, you have your serial number. So looks like we're gonna have to kind of tri-fold this box right here. And uh, we got a whole bunch more boxes in here. So let's start getting this pulled out. Looks right here off the top, we have the battery that came with this unit. Um, it's a 12 volt, seven amp hour uh, battery. I'll probably end up upgrading this in the future to a, a lithium battery, something that's a little bit lighter, even though that's not terribly heavy, like this is probably five, seven pounds. Um, I just know the, the lithium batteries withstand the cold just a little bit better, and they also last longer, but lithium batteries also have their own drawbacks too. 
Um, but I don't want to get into that right now. So first things first, we got our battery. Then we have a pretty big box right here. I'm actually going to go ahead and set this box off to the side. And in this box right here, we have what looks like our unit itself. Let's go ahead and open this up. Yes, so we have the Garmin 73 or 7 inch display right here. Looks nice, doesn't look beat up. Screen's not all scratched up, so happy about that. I'm just going to put the protective plastic back on. We get a little baggie of bolts. We have our GT10 uh, Garmin transducer kit right here. Um, this was in the box with the unit. Looks like we have some. Uh, this is going to be the, the power cord uh, for charging up the battery. I think this unit comes with a quick charge feature, but I'm not for sure. And then we have the mount itself right here. Here. We got the mount itself. Uh, one thing I do really like about the Garmin units is that they use a centralized pin and then once you set your unit into here you have all of your power cables and accessory cables right here on the back so they're not directly screwing into the unit itself. Um, overall this is a, a really nice feature and you can uh, swap this from your boat to you know your ice fishing unit pretty easy especially using like if you already have this cradle on your boat you can literally just unscrew these unplug everything and take this whole unit and go and put it on your boat and then plug in all your boat accessories and everything so inside here we just have a couple more things uh, we got some velcro I'm guessing this is for cable management we got a little bit more hardware we have our battery plug-in right here for the unit and a couple more screws and I believe this is the base plate right here for this so you can swivel your unit while you're in there. The stuff that we took out of this first box was mainly uh, to support the, the Garmin itself. Uh, so I'm guessing the rest of these boxes in here are going to have to do with the carrier and that kind of stuff. So set that off to the side. Reach down in here. We got a nice big, you know, cardboard sheet. And yeah, so I was right. So right here we have the the handle for the whole unit, and then we have the base plate itself right here for the bottom of it. And then we have the Garmin bag. I believe this is the small bag still. Uh, with the 7 inch you can get away with the small bag, but the 9 inch or the 10 inch um, you have to upgrade to the large bag. Um, so overall, I mean, it was pretty condensed into everything, but now I'm going to go ahead put this unit together for you guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and film it all just so you guys can watch how fast and easy this stuff goes together. But uh, overall, this is super simple um, and it really shouldn't take that much time at all to assemble. Alright, so kind of laid out in front, I have everything that we're going to need to do this build quick and uh, relatively easy. So. With most of the ice fishing kits, these handles just plug right in. Now, they clip in also. However, we are going to need these two bolts. Let's see if I can get them out here for you quick. We're going to need these two. They're a little bit longer than the rest. Um, but these are going to be installed right here on the bottom of the handle. So what I'm going to do is try and slide this bolt in real quick. 
it needs to push down just a little more. And then another nice thing that Garmin has gone and done for us is they've made the uh, area that the nuts sit in um, basically hold the nut for you so you can just screw it on. However, with these, this being such small hardware, it is a little challenging if you have some big hands. But once you get it going, it's relatively easy. And these don't need to be extremely tight. Uh, everything is a lock nut on here. So it should just hold. Uh, you don't want to be cracking the plastic either. Uh, then you gotta go buy a new shuttle kit. So. Just like that, we have our handle installed on our unit. Okay, next we are going to need our bottom turnstile piece. Uh, this is the piece that's going to allow your screen to pivot uh, within this shuttle. Now be careful when you open this one up, there is a nut and a screw that are in the bottom of it. However, that's not what we're going to be using to attach this. We are actually going to be using these three stainless screws that come in a separate pack and these are just going to slide right into well right there but wrong way they're going to slide right into the uh, bottom of this unit and then there are three rib nuts on the base of the shuttle that these are going to screw into now personally I don't like to tighten them until I have all three in uh, it's just easier than you you guarantee that you got them all in there and then you can snug them all up together and kind of get more of a uniform fit then you're not dealing with stripping anything out you're not dealing with issues and having to go and buy another one same thing like before you guys don't need to crank this down it just needs to be nice and tight and it's complete all right so now for the next thing we're going to need to take our bracket right here and just kind of disassemble it a little bit. Uh, we're going to have to put on some washers. So you can actually leave these on and pull the unit out, these screws, but however we're going to need to remove them for this install. Um, we're going to set all that stuff off to the side and then your bracket for this should just sit right there. And then what we're going to do is take the screw and the nut that came with this. The screw is going to go into the middle. Go ahead, flip it over. And once again, Garmin loves us so much that they made an impression down here for the nut to sit in so you kind of got to push her in there a little hard and we can tighten this screw up to hold it in place now this one once again you're not going to want to tighten it too much because this is how your screen rotates so I might go just a hair tighter just so it's not spinning on me whenever but that right there is about perfect it's not free spinning it's not moving all around and it stays in one place so finally uh, we need this packet that has these little rubber grommets in here and these are actually going to go on the inside of our screws and then we can screw this back on and set the graph back into place. Just to kind of give it more of a snug feel right there. 
helps it fit up just a little bit better and then you don't have to tighten it down as much. But right there, you know our graph is in the clicker. You can click it up and down, whatever viewing angle you guys need and it's taken care of. So right now what we're going to do is we are going to start to plug in our wires and everything. So this is the battery cable kit for the unit. And if we go and turn the unit around right here, we have access to the back side. So Garmin did another beautiful thing for us and they color coded all of this. So red is going to go to red. There is a groove on the bottom of this plug that is going to correspond with a groove on the plug for the unit itself. And then you're just gonna wanna tighten that down. It's just a little thumb screw back here and that's gonna hold your wires in place. They give you a little bread tie back here for the cables. Uh, just go ahead and undo it because everybody is going to want to connect their cables in their own way, I assume. So now we're gonna move on to the battery. I'm personally gonna set mine in with the terminals the farthest away from the actual power cord, uh, just because then I can I have more room to, you know, kind of get all the terminals to fit in by themselves. And for the power, we're going to want to use the leads that have the built-in inline fuse right here. This is a super important piece, especially with you know ice fishing and everything. You're gonna want your power to be fused. Uh, it's just a safety precaution for you and your unit. The fused power is going to get plugged into the positive side and the other side will be plugged into your negative side. Now, looks like we have a little bit of a mess with cables, but we will get there when we get to organizing everything, when we get our transducer installed, it will all get cleaned up very nice. Now one thing I would like to add is they gave you an extra power splice right here. I believe this is so you can like easily connect into like a, a glow cup if you want. You can add it up on the front of your display right here. They have a couple little notches that you could add a, a glow cup, um, which is nice. You know, they gave you a, a spliced wire set to where you can add that if you want. Uh, the other one right here is going to be your quick charger for your battery. So this is something that you're going to want to make sure you have easily accessible. I'm honestly probably going to zip tie up on the back of the you know, handle here just for ease. But for right now, I do not have a glow cup. Um, I've never really used one, so I'm going to tie this up with the rest of the battery cables when we get there. Okay, so one thing I forgot to do actually was install the Velcro straps for the battery, uh, which is a huge thing. You don't want your battery falling all around. They give you these two nice Velcro straps right here. All right, so there you go. We got our Velcro straps installed. I'm gonna hold our battery nicely in there. And I just went ahead and used the bread tie that came with the power cables and tied up our you know uh, our power cables so that way they're nice and neat next we're gonna go ahead and move on to the uh, the actual transducer itself so when I bought the kit it said that this was the GT10 transducer yeah it's the GT10 HN transducer um, People talked pretty highly about it. They said it was a good, you know, entry level transducer. Uh, it does come with a nice foam piece and a stop for your cable. You're gonna wanna make sure you install that. It looks like they packaged the transducer nicely uh, so it doesn't get ruined in transport, which is always a good thing. 
Now, just off the bat of you know, really touching this transducer cable, this cable is extremely soft and malleable. Um, kind of a good thing, kind of a bad thing. I'm kind of nervous on if it's going to break, but only time will tell. Pro tip, make sure you put your foam piece on before you screw on your transducer cable into the Garmin bracket. Now we can go ahead and wrap up our transducer cable up on the shuttle here. So I'm just going to slide the rubber piece on over the transducer cable right there, nice and tight. And then that can get shoved down into the piece. So right here we have our transducer all hooked up. And finally we are going to get to the screen install. So we have everything else hooked up that came with our Garmin kit except for the 73 S or CV screen in this circumstance. So we're going to want to take our protective cover off and put that into the back and then for the screen itself it should just rock right into place. You hear the audible click and it should be good. So I've never turned this unit on. I don't know if this battery has any power to it but we're gonna find out right now so right there turns on might take a second to boot up but overall we had a successful install alright so here is the home screen for the Garmin I can actually hear the transducer starting to work right now I can hear it clicking but Overall, there is a ton of stuff on here, including the Active Captain, which we can hook up to our phone and actually view the screen on our phone, which is a pretty cool feature. Um, the big reason why I wanted to use this specific unit was for the combos right here. So we could just go to, you know, our sonar right here and use our flasher, but we could also go to a combo and use our combo right here to where we can see you know depth of everything if we go ahead and move this you can see depth but then you also get a regular you know sonar view uh, which is pretty cool now the final thing that we actually have to install is our Garmin bag uh, like I said at the beginning of this video I believe this is Garmin's small shuttle bag. Um, however, the whole unit should fit right inside of here to protect it. it. Should slide right in, which it does, and just kind of shimmer up around. The big screen will make it a little bit tight in here, but it should work no problem at all. So. Right there. Recenter it. There we go. So, right there, we have the whole Garmin unit inside our bag. Flipper open. You got it all right there. You got your carrying case, you got your handle, and uh, it's honestly set up pretty well so they do have this flap right here for you to put up around your handle and velcro it so that way your whole bag doesn't you know blow away uh, and it stays protected on here and they do give you it's kind of a weird design on the back so if you don't want this just hanging you can take it and roll it up and then they give you a weird little clip right here to Clip down onto there, keeps your, your your lid nice and dry. You can still grab onto the unit and move it uh, pretty easily. But overall, super nice. Like I said, when we were installing the battery, 
you have a port back here to where you can get in and grab everything that you need back here including your charger cord so one thing that I will be doing is just putting my my battery charger the uh, right in here you know it's a place that you can keep it it's protected you're not going to lose it um, and uh, you don't have to worry about buying a new charger for this charger going in Garmin specific charger going in zip that up kind of situator in there just like that it's nice and safe don't have to worry about it and we can start chasing stuff out on the ice another thing they do give you right here is a side pocket to access your uh, your wires right here so you can unravel it if you need more if you need less whatever uh, it's all right here in this pocket and you can zip it back up when you're done with it but overall I am extremely happy with this unit alright so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of the overview and unboxing of, of the Garmin 73 SC uh, ice fishing bundle this is this unit right here is the 73 SV unit. Um, they just change it to the CV when you buy the ice fishing bundle. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the quality of the uh, the product that I bought. I'm super excited to get out there on the ice and use it, and I'm super excited to continue to use more of Garmin's products. With that being said. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys could go down below, you know, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It's completely free for you guys, and it only helps me out in the long run. Um, I'm trying my absolute hardest to get to a thousand subscribers before January 1st, and if you guys could please smash that subscribe button for me, it would mean the absolute world to me. So with that being said, thank you once again for watching today's video, and I will see you guys freaking later. Peace.